So now what I want to do is actually render out how this join us page or join us button actually works. Um, of course, on my knock doc, knock HQ .com, it's showing something like this too. So before I actually fix that, I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a way that I can load fixtures into my live server. That is, so my database is actually working according to what I have. And that is the pages. Like if I'm testing pages locally, I might want to bring them on live. So I'm going to change into, or excuse me, I'm going to run Python manage.py and I'm going to say dump data format JSON and then indent four. And I'll just go ahead and put a, a the greater than sign there and we'll call it pages.json. Um, and I also want to actually add in after dump data, we want to do pages.page. I hit enter and it's going to create a JSON file right here. And that's our actual page data, right? So it's all in JSON. So and now if I do get status and do get add dot get commit added pages data, I can now do get push Heroku master and I'll let that run for just a moment as we talk about what it is that I want to do here. So I actually want to make this an inline form and I want to do it by using bootstrap, of course. So get bootstrap.com. We'll go into components and we want to use inline forms. So if I do input groups, this might actually be more of what I'm looking for. So I see down here, I've got this button add-ons portion and that's this right here. So I look back at my home.html and I want to see this form itself. Now this form is fairly useful in the sense that it does render our errors, but really I can actually type out input type equals to email, um, value, e well, we wouldn't put the value, but we'll put the name being email, and then we'll put a placeholder being your email, and then a class of form.control. Um, so this is the same field that is related to this form email field, right? That's actually the same field. So now that I've got that, I can actually put it into an input group, like what we see on um, the documentation here. So I've got this input group. So now I can change the text from that to being our input. And then the button itself would be just our input submit button here. And I go ahead and change that, tab these over, save it. By now our stuff should work and it is there, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take a look at this before we load that data in. So we'll run the server and we'll look back. And now I've got my two different forms here. One of them actually is the hard coded form that we have, but this looks a lot better than the other one um, because then now we can actually do some stuff where it's more of like one single line of a form than a, 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 anything different than that. So what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna say extra small six, that's where our join class will be. And then div class column extra small six is where our form's gonna be. So I'll get rid of this form as P for now. I'll just comment it out. We'll save that and we refresh in here and now we've got this join us looking a little bit better, right? It's, it's not exactly how we were probably gonna want it at the end of the day, but it is a good start. In fact, how we're gonna want it is div class equals to row and then div class equals to column small eight, column small offset two, and then we're gonna go ahead and close off those divs. Save that, and we refresh in here. And now we've got a little bit better, a little closer as to what we want. In fact, I'm gonna make this being a little bit smaller, like four and eight. Save that, refresh, and now we've got our join us. This is, this is looking a little bit better. Okay, so we can definitely still improve that, and we definitely will. But for now, we've got our join us form being more front and center and then our content being below that. Um, we could reuse that over and over, but I'm just gonna leave that as that for now. But then on my live page, I do want to load in that data. So I did the dump data stuff and then I sent it, right? So this dump data turns that data into a JSON file. So now what I can do is go to Heroku run bash. This is not the only way to do it, but this is a way to do it that you can also do this the reverse way, meaning if you had this on your live server, you could do this on your local server too. So I'm gonna just run python manage.py 
load data and it's pages.json, which is this right here. We're making sure it's in there. We hit load data, I hit enter. It installed two objects from the one fixture. Let's try and do it again. It's It doesn't actually, oh, it, like it's, it's still using the same data. So if I did do some changes, there's a good chance that this will also still work. So let's actually test that out. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here. Um, and then first of all, I'm gonna reload in knock.hq. Now all this stuff is working as expected. Um, since I've made some changes to the sign up form, I'll do git status and I'll do git add, git commit, update sign up rendering form. I'll push that in a moment. Um, so what I wanna do now is actually change the data and dump it again. So I'm gonna go into knock, uh, let's run the server, the local server, and I'm gonna go to knock HQ and I'll say knock HQ again. Uh, that's all I'm changing, save that, and then let's dump the data again. So git status, git push, dump data, pages, all the same stuff. I then go ahead and hit enter, git status, git add, git commit, update pages data, git push Heroku master, and, and Heroku run python manage.py load data pages.json, hit enter, and we'll let that run. So we see it's loading that data and it installed it on the two um, items there. If I refresh in here, notice the data changed. Obviously that form changed as well. Uh, so it's definitely along the lines of where we want it to be. Okay, cool. So that is loading data dynamically using fixtures, um, but it's also just kind of updating how the form is rendered and how it looks itself. So if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.